Pasura Pasura Sutta Here alone is purity, they declare. They say there is no purification in other teachings, declaring whatever they depend on to be excellent. Many are entrenched in separate truths. Desiring debate, having plunged into the assembly, in pairs they accuse one another of being a fool. Those of different convictions assert their argument, desiring praise, claiming to be skilled. Keep on speaking in the midst of the assembly, wishing for praise, he becomes anxious. If his assertion is rejected, he feels humiliated. Upset by blame, he seeks a flaw in his opponent. If they say his assertion is defective and the judges consider it rejected, the loser laments and sorrows. He moans, he surpassed me. These disputes have arisen among ascetics. In relation to them, one becomes elated and dejected. Having seen this too, one should desist from arguments, for there is no other benefit than praise and gain. If, however, he is praised there, having declared his doctrine in the midst of the assembly, he is thrilled by this and swells in pride, having obtained the benefit of the accords with his wish. Though his pride is the ground of distress, he yet speaks for conceit and arrogance. Having seen this too, one should not dispute, for the skilled say this does not bring purity. Just as a hero, nourished on the king's food, comes thundering, desiring an opponent, rush off in his direction, Sura, already in the past, there was no scope for a fight. When they grasp a view and argue and assert this alone is true, tell them when a debate has arisen, there is no opponent for you here. But among those who live remote, who do not oppose a view with other views, what will you obtain, Pasura, from those who grasp nothing here as supreme. But now you have come brooding, devising speculative views in your mind. You have confronted one who is cleansed. Indeed, you won't be able to succeed.